welcome back to my channel. So first up, I'm going to take my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I'm going to set that with my Australis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder in the shade Nude. My lips were feeling really dry, so next I used my favourite lip balm, which is the Haraw Coconut Lip Balm. Today I decided I wanted to have a really sharp wing effect, so I just took some sticky tape and placed that on the corner of my eyes. I did my eyebrows off camera today. My eyebrows take half the video to do, and they're in my last video. Then I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, and I'm going to take that shade Golden Ochre and just blend that into the crease, using my Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer Brush. Then I'm going to take the orange shade from the same palette and use that to darken up the outer corner and the crease. Next I take my absolute favourite shade from this palette, Venetian Red, and I'm going to use that on my 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. I'm going to place that on the outer corner and the inner corner and then blend that through the crease as well. Once that's complete, you just want to take any blending brush and just blend over those colours just to make sure it's nice and seamless. Next I'm going to spray MAC Fix Plus onto my brush just to make the colours more intense and I'm going to take that gold shade from the same palette and just pack that on the centre of my eyelids and then blend that out slowly. I decided today I wanted some extra sparkle so I grabbed the Inglo Pure Pigment Eyeshadow in the shade 118 and just placed that over the gold. I decided I wanted my shadow to look a little bit more intense so I grabbed that same Venetian Red again and I just packed the colour on and blended that out one last time. For my wing liner today I'm going to take Maybelline New York Eye Studio Gel Liner and I'm going to apply that with my 317 Wing Liner Zoeva brush. I then went over that with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner just to tidy that up a little bit. I've just realised all of my makeup videos have been using the same palette so far. Like I can't help it, I can make so many looks with this one palette and it's the one that I always reach for. But I promise in my next video I'll use some different palettes. And then I'm just going to remove that tape. I'm going to use my Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. And then I apply my number 43 Red Cherry Lashes. Then to prime my face, I'm just going to take my Benefit Professional Primer and just apply that all over my face. I'm so proud of myself today, I tried a new foundation. So this one is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Total Cover in the shade 21 Golden Sand. It says full coverage, long wearing foundation. And I did actually wear this all day and attend a dance class in the evening and it did actually stay on really well. So I'm just going to dot that all over my face and then blend that in using my Zoeva 102 Silk Finish Brush. To conceal under my eyes, I'm going to take the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Fair Claire. It's a brand new one I just got and I haven't used this one before and I could not get the product out. I was getting so frustrated, it took me ages, but when it finally came out, I was so impressed. I'm also going to place that down my nose, on the sides of my nose, on my chin and on my forehead. And then I take my damp beauty blender and just begin to blend that out. Next, I'm just going to set that concealer under my eyes using my Real Techniques setting brush and the Australis Fresh Flawless Press Powder in the shade Nude. Then I set my whole face using the same Australis Fresh Flawless Press Powder, but this time in the shade Darkest Brown, and I'm going to take that on my 106 Powder Brush by Zoeva. Next, I'm going to apply that Venetian Red shade underneath my eye. You don't want to go too close to the inner corner because it will make your eyes look smaller. And then I take that same gold shade and I just apply that on the inner corner and the inner edge of my eye. 
Then I'm going to apply my absolute favourite bronzer, the Matte Give Me Sun, and I'm going to do that with my 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush by Zoeva. Now for blush, I'm going to take my Essence Set and Touch blush in the shade 10 Coral. This is such an affordable blush, I'm pretty sure it was only like $4 or something like that. Now for the highlight, I'm going to take my On The Glow Sunkissed Palette from Sports Girl, and I'm going to take the shade Sand and just begin to highlight my face. Next, I'm just going to do my bottom lashes using that same mascara. To darken up my waterline, I'm just going to use my Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade 01 Black Fever. This is another really affordable product, a couple of dollars again, and it's been really amazing so far. I pretty much created this whole look so that I can wear my favourite Jeffree Star lipstick. This one is in the shade Androgyny, Androgyny. I do not know how to say it, but I don't really care because look how beautiful the colour is. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a big thumbs up. That would help me out so much. And there goes my son walking in the background in his underwear. So this is the finished look. I hope everybody enjoyed watching my video today. I decided that it would also be interesting to show you an outfit that I would wear with this, maybe out to the clubs or out to dinner. So this outfit is pretty much just from Supre and my choker is from Levisa. So it's just like a nice, plain, simple outfit that can go with a more bold makeup look. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching.